Okay, what the heck? I was able to get up there perfectly before, now all of a sudden I'm keep dropping down. Bounce up, bounce up. Oh boy. Oh, that was almost it. Wait, I can work with this. Alright, we made it! Okay, I guess now I can go ahead and say hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! So, my strategy that I was pointing out until XSplit was working on me is that I was going to go ahead and just try at this off camera until we were on camera enough to succeed, basically. Please tell me I brought my robot. On camera enough to succeed only to discover that I should have brought my robot instead of Fang. So I'm gonna have to do that all over again, again. Uh, and yep, that's, that's the end of that. Gosh dang it. I finally succeeded, which was kind of a nightmare. Because all of a sudden I was failing all over. I wasn't making my way up, I was bouncing my way down. So now I get to leave this place and try it again. Which is a... Uh, certainly a thrill. Okay, I know I'm gonna need this as I come out. Stripeback says being on the Game Gear really hurt this game. Yeah, I'm I'm feeling like this is one of those games. It, it, it's the Link's Awakening syndrome. We really needed it to be able to carry more items. Though at least Link's Awakening lets you swap between equipable items while out and about. You don't have to go back home to do it. Now, uh, what I think here? Perhaps I have another option, something that I could do that would be a little bit easier for me. I'm gonna make another trip into this level because I'm curious now whether I actually properly try getting into that one room or not. Because now I'm not sure. Oh wait, I think I did. Yeah, I, I did take that into that area. To the where I was thinking of. So, never mind that. What's something else I could try? Karen Forest is done. Green Island is done. Holoi Forest is done. I can't get through those turrets. I really do have to do something here, I'm betting. It seems. So let's go ahead and make our way through this level again. I am definitely feeling frustrated right now. The latest update to XSplit being broken does not help. If I was just trying to get my way through this level without worrying about my program working or not, I'd probably be in a better mood. I'd probably be all, oh well, let's just go ahead and try this again, I guess. Kind of think of it, that's probably the top of the area up there, too. 
Considering I need my robot friend to go up there, and there doesn't seem to be any other place for Tails to fit through. I almost avoided damage for all that. I'm gonna do the same thing as before, just to save a bit of time. Just so that I don't have to reset the room and climb back up here. Or, you know, climb back up there in general. I feel like I'm allowed to do this. Yeah, see, that's what was happening just a little bit ago as I was climbing up there. For some reason, I'm no longer making my way up. Except just there, and no. And then I'd leave and I'd come back. In fact, let's just say that's what's happening. I'm actually doing this properly. Leaving the room and came back. Two minutes later, we return to find that I'm up here. Still with 47 health. I'm doing a good job at not taking damage during my return trip. Yeah. That's totally what's happening. Hold on a sec. Am I doing this the hard way? I'm doing this the hard way. I'll keep this. This'll be the slow way. Maybe I just got really lucky whenever I was spin dashing my way up. Ooh, don't do that. There we go. Yes. This, this is so much easier. A little bit slower, but at least it's guaranteed to get me some progress. Uh, I'll just bring up my robot friend now, since I know there's no point in going forward as Tails. Come on, game. Give me a reason to be in a good mood again. Large Bomb. Maybe that will get me into the other passage in the volcanic tunnel? I mean, it sounds like it's the largest bomb. That was unfortunate aim. Screw you. Natty Ratty says, hmm, well, maybe. It's probably more explosives, I suppose. Perhaps, maybe it is just a bigger explosion and nothing more, but I would like to think that there's some way to get into that passage in the volcanic tunnel. So let's try this out. There's also... Still some other teleport device. That sounds interesting. Along with a Chaos Emerald. I'm getting closer to completing this game. For now, let's get the large bomb. And I'll go ahead and save state here, just to save my progress. We'll assume that I went into the password screen. Not to mention... If this is a wasted trip, that'll allow me a way out of here. A quick way out of here, that is. 
In fact, I, I think I actually need that quick way out of here, because this cannot be thrown. So, we'll definitely see some time to get out of here. Because I need to be able to kind of throw a bomb. Or I have Sonic. Sonic's also an option, sure. In that case, I actually wasted time by saving time. In fact, let's move things along now that I just remembered that I can do this. Spin Dash is pretty fun, gotta say. It is kind of satisfying to get around like this. Failures aside. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. I don't suppose this will reach here. No, that's gonna be no. Unless I'm able to spin dash my way up the wall here. In which case, yeah, we're gonna have to leave again. Oi! Well, maybe we don't necessarily need to use Sonic. Or alternatively, we could keep Sonic and not have the goggles. I really hope that the room we're about to head into doesn't require the goggles. You know what? I'm afraid. I'm afraid now. So, there's actually nothing that requires... S ...the Sonic Spin Dash. Come on. So, I'll just assume that this stuff is the good stuff. Ah, so much for spin dashing my way through here. Incidentally, I was actually planning on grabbing the remote mine, but I already know that I can make it through that gap with the... this... this bomb. And these guys seem to be conveniently placed so that I'm able to hit them with this bomb. Okay, let's get... Actually, let's just do this. Oop, and, uh, I was about to say I should probably watch out for that guy, but I kind of was a little late on that thought. Okay, seriously, is there a way to get past this thing? Oh, it is possible to get through that without taking a hit. Well, how did I manage that? I, I guess I just needed to have good timing? Okay, this is where I was going. I'm really wishing you weren't in here with me. Let me in. That's it! Oh, finally! That's a good thing our flight meter is pretty high up. Oh boy! It's always satisfying whenever you're finally able to access a place that you've seen for a while, but haven't been able to do a thing about. No, no. Give me some health. I need health. No. Don't drop me down. Speaking of down, I guess that's where we're going. I 
Out of curiosity, can we drop this bomb while flying? No. Nope. Actually, you have to be standing. Alright, well, how long is this gonna take, I wonder? The item we're coming across better be awesome. I'm sure it has to be, though. Okay, obvious path that way. What's to the left, since this is easier? I'm gonna say there's a boss in that direction. Let's check out this direction first. Nope, I, I did that thing where I accidentally extra tapped my flight and got out of it. Is this just leading to the boss? There's a thing up there. Hi, Bear Force! Yep, yeah, you're definitely a boss. So what happens if I just bypass you? Oh no! Oh, can I hit you from here? I feel like that's just supposed to be how I cheaply beat you. Whatever, this still works. Oh, he's he's quite aware of this situation. He he knows I'm here, and he's like not having anything to do with it. However, doesn't matter. His bullets cause minimal damage. So apparently, I did want to still bring the remote mines in here for the sake of. Oh, that's the entrance that I skipped. For the sake of, uh... I forget what I was saying. Whatever. Give me something good. Extra armor. Oh! That's for the boat! I think. I think it's for the boat. Also, hello, Sunstorm. So, hello, Beer Force, and hello, Sunstorm. Alright. Boat item? Boat item. Oh, that's awesome. So I don't need extra speed. I need extra armor. And that will get me past all that stuff that I've been having trouble with. I exited out too far. Whatever, let me go in here to save. Alright, I'm ready. So what does extra armor do for me? Okay. So good news. You know how I was really concerned that I would have to be using that blinding screen nuke over and over again? That's apparently not the case, because I have freaking invisibility. <laughs> I have invis- it's, it's infinite invisibility for my submarine. That is ridiculous. Uh, I thought the screen nuke was awesome, but this just- this just takes the cake. Okay, I activated it upon entering this map, and so far it has not worn out. Does it just last forever? Or at least until I go into another screen. Because it seems like that's what it does. Uh, 
and I go into the screen and it's gone, yeah. So basically, start a map, equip this. Oh, that is so awesome. Those turrets have been giving me so much trouble. And now they are nothing. Even whenever you switch items, it's still going. Nope, you guys are not escaping. No longer taking damage from these things, that is awesome. So what is off in this direction that I've been trying so hard to reach? I'm betting it's the enemy base for the Cuckoos. And what do we got here? Branching paths? Or is it like a circle? Yep. This circle has made a square. Oh, and where to from here? Well, more branching paths. I feel like that's leading somewhere. I wonder if this is going to lead to a couple of levels, or if this one area is just some sort of secret. Tell you what, they are certainly protective of their base. Yeah, all these guns... This has to be leading to the enemy base. You know, I think they've given up. They, they've given up shooting me. I don't know if they've actually given up or if, like, maybe I destroyed enough of their bullets, they ran out of bullets. Which makes me wonder if I... Oh, wait. Nope, there's still some bullets left here. And now it's gone. Nope, got that one. Okay, I had to blow that up. Tell you what, this goes a lot deeper than I thought it would. Gotta be getting close to the end, though. In fact, here's a cutscene. Interesting that Tails still had the sparkly around himself. Alright, we have made it to Coco Island. Uh, do I want to go on an episode break now? I think I'll go ahead and go on an episode break now.